Inside this video, we are going to install the essential Firefox plugins that you are going to be using as a Joomla template developer. As you can see, these are going to be the seven essential plugins that you will need to have inside your Firefox browser. So let's go very quickly. Now you are going to be clicking inside each icon so you can get redirect to this page. And by the way, this page will be the page number three inside the PDF that you already downloaded. So let's go back in here. And something that you are going to notice right away will be this button in here, Add to Firefox. Now all the plugins are going to have the same button with the same text add to Firefox. So I am just going to show you how to install two plugins because you are going to be following the same process on each plugin. So let's go to Colorzilla and click on add to Firefox. Then click on allow. Then we are going to click on install now. There you are. Now you can either restart your browser right now or you can go ahead to the next plugin and install it. In this case, I am not going to restart the browser because I want to install the next plugin right away. So let's go to the next one. This will be the context phone. Let's click on Add to Firefox and click Allow. Then click on Install Now. And this time, I will be restarting the browser. Again, remember, you can install one plugin at a time or you can install all of them at the same time and at the end you can restart your whole browser. Whatever way you go will be fine but again don't forget that you will need to click inside these icons in here so you can get redirect to these pages. Let me restart my browser and let me just show you very quickly which version of Firefox I am using. Right now I am using the latest Firefox version 11. So let's go to tools and then add-ons Inside here we are just going to click on restart now because these are going to be the plugins that we just installed. There we go, we have just restarted the browser. Now let me close all these windows, these tabs because I don't need them anymore. I already have all these plugins inside this browser. And there we are. Now I am just going to show you very quickly what you are going to be able to accomplish with these plugins. Right now we are not going to practice with them because you are going to be doing that in the following videos. First of all, you are going to have the color Scylla. Now why the color Scylla it is going to be really essential behind this training? Color Scylla will be at the top right here as you can see here of your browser. So if you click inside that icon, then you can move your mouse over any element inside your browser and automatically you are going to be able to copy the color from that specific element. As you can see the color on this icon in here, this green icon will be 57821E. If we go in here, the color will be D9691 and 8. Those are going to be hexadecimal colors. Now at this point don't worry too much about what a hexadecimal color is but basically it will be a color combination to use inside your CSS styles. Now let's go back. The next one will be the context phone and with this plugin you are going to be able to know which phone a specific website will be using. Let me click again in here so I can deactivate it so I can well disable the plugin and let's make a selection for instance inside this text then right click and as you can see this website is using a phone 16 pixels and the phone it is a Georgia phone let's go down here it will be the same I imagine but in this case it will be a 13 pixel Georgia if we go to joomla.org and then if we make a selection in here right click and they are using 14 pixels Arial. So that's how you are going to be able to use this plugin. The next one, HTML Validator. Again, you are going to be developing valid HTML and valid CSS websites. 
it doesn't really matter what your knowledge is right now because believe me the more valid your websites are the more compatible are going to be with all the different devices out there including iPads, iPhones, Android phones and of course all the browsers inside the computers for instance this plugin will be down here and as you can see when you see the red mark you are going to be able to see how many errors the website has in this case Joomla.org has 23 errors and 3 warnings now when you are using HTML5 which again don't worry about that at this moment this plugin won't be functional however you are going to be able to know if the website validates behind the HTML markup because if you go to my blog my blog will be using well HTML5 markup behind it and if I go in here this plugin won't be highlighted however you are going to be able to see that I don't have any errors and any warnings that will be the basic function and the next one will be the Firefox and wise low these two guys are going to be working together and when you install them you are going to be able to click inside your keyboard the F12 key and when you click in there you are going to be able to see the wise low and the HTML okay with the wise low you are going to be able to find out what will be your grade inside the wise low system because in here the better grade you have the faster your website will become right now my website has a grade A and inside the HTML tab in here you are going to be able to analyze the HTML markup right away and you can actually create changes instantly inside your website so if I go in here let me you can actually see when I put my mouse over how everything gets highlighted at the top if I go here and on the banner and then you can see let me just click in here and see how the changes are happening right away let me change in here as you can see so if I put everything back everything will return to the original state this will be really essential but I am going to be showing you a little bit more from this plugin later on the videos the next one will be the developer toolbar and with this plugin you are going to be able to have several options while developing Joomla templates for instance if you go in here this will be the developer toolbar if we go to miscellaneous and click on display ruler you can actually check in here what will be the size of this banner let me click in here there you are you are going to have a 453 times 79 then if you go to tools you can actually validate the HTML right away and the CSS let me go back then let's take a look to the outline you are going to be able to outline different things like tables links let me see what else we have I know we can select any element in here the divisions let me see the divisions probably they are inside well actually they are not going to be divisions but you can see the block level elements again don't worry about this because you are going to be learning more about all the block level elements and inline level elements when you take the HTML training again don't worry at this moment and we can go to images and display well hide all the images as you can see this will be my website without any images let's go back in here and this will be the valid HTML5 and the valid CSS behind my Joomla website and then finally the spell checker with this plugin you are going to be able to check the spelling as you can probably guess and this will be the icon if you click in there this plugin will be highlighting all the mistakes inside your text and again this will be really handy when you want to analyze all the errors inside your text so my friends these are going to be the tools that you are going to be using inside this training and again inside the following videos we are going to be working with all of them
for this video. That will be it. And let's move on.